Hello everyone, welcome to the video. If you're here, you're probably familiar with my app Bit Therapy, and this is a video on how to create custom pets. The version you see on screen is the 172, it's gonna coming out very soon, and as you can see, it has a big red button for you to become a supporter of the app, which will allow you to have access to some uh, extra pets. Uh, starting out now with uh, very few ones, but uh, eventually there's gonna be a, there's gonna be more of them. Please, 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 if you like the app, become a supporter or uh, reach out on Discord just to to tell me. Now, uh, with the self promotion aside, you're familiar with the app, and you know that if you scroll to the very bottom, you have this section here that allows you to create custom pets. There's an instruction section on my website, which uh, is uh, fairly simple. It goes into technical details, kind of. You do not need to be a developer to create custom pets. You do not need to code, you only need to edit some configuration file. I'm gonna walk you, you through everything that needs to go into that file. The only thing that is required is that you are very precise with the name of certain files. Now, the easiest way to start is to edit an existing pet, for example, doing a color swap, which is gonna go what we are going to do today. How are these files organized? If you pick a pet, for example, this slime here, another self promotion bit, this is a character in my new game. Sneak Beat, which is linked here in the app, available for iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux. It looks very cool. <laughs> it's free on mobile and it's like a dollar or so on Steam, so please check it out. Anytime you select a pet, you have this button here in the top right. It allows you to export the pet out of the app. We're gonna do it for the slime real quick. And what we can see is uh, nine files. The first four are all called Sneak Beat Slime Front 0, Front 1, Front 2, Front 3. These are the animation loop. There is one file per frame. The next four are for the walking animation. And you can kind of see that it is the profile of the pet because there's two eyes for the front and one for the walking animation. Let's add it to the screen to see what's up. And you can kind of see it here. I'm gonna zoom up real quick just to see it better. And there you go. The last file is the most important one. It's a JSON file, meaning it's something like a configuration file. It is plain text. You can open it with anything. For example, the text edit, the app that's built in your Mac by default. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code just because it uh, shows some kind of colors. I, Syntax Light is called, and it's gonna be easier. Now, all the fields here are also explained in the documentation, but I'm gonna walk you through it. We're gonna skip animations for now because as you can see, there's an empty list of animations, so this line doesn't have any. Capabilities. Animated sprite, which allows you to see it animated. <laughs> Animation provider, uh, I'm gonna explain later. Auto respond, this is something, uh, you know, sometimes the pet will randomly walk off screen and this line here allows you, allows the app to automatically <laughs> detect this situation and put it back. <laughs> Draggable allows you to move it around. Linear movement. As you can see, the slime is working straight. Animation scheduler will schedule the animations randomly, but again, we don't have any for now. Rotating, because we are going left, the image is rotated, and because we are going down, the image is rotated. Show menu on right click. Follow mouse, show home, hide pets and wall crawler. Wall crawler is what is doing right now. Instead of walking like the cat back and forth, it is following 
the boundaries of my screen. Then we have a, a configuration for the names of the various animations. For example, drag path front. This means that whenever I drag the slime, he's gonna load up the front animation. FPS 10, meaning that each frame lasts one tenth of a second. The index is used for uh, stuff, uh, for decorative stuff, mainly like the cat house. Tags are uh, the information we need to classify the pets in these categories. The ID is the name of this folder, the prefix on all images and the name of the JSON file. Movement path, much like drag path, allows the app to pick the correct animation when moving. Scale 0.5, it is just to have a sense of scale between different animals. There are ones that have a scale that is twice. For example, this Raiden Genshin character here, just because it uses a different size of pixel. And finally, speed, because it's very slow, we want to set it to 0.7. Let's go back to the app and check whatever, uh, and check how a cat is made. So I'm going to pick the blue cat, exporting it, export it. Very similar structure to the slime, but obviously we have way more stuff here. Let's uh, start with the JSON file. Compared to the slime, we can see immediately that uh, there are some differences. For example, here we have animations. For example, there is an idle animation. So we can expect to have a cat underscore blue underscore idle images. And there we go. If you use the cat in the app, you might be familiar with this look. Another, another cool one is the sleep animation. So cat, blue, sleep. Now, what the app does is it sees that we have a animation scheduler here. So at random intervals, it will pick one of these animation and play it. Some animation stay for much longer. For example, this leap animation requires 50 loops, meaning we have six frames in the animation. We go by 10 FPS, but we're gonna repeat the animation 50 times. change the laptop I had no idea <laughs> where the asterisk is so the cat is gonna sleep for 30 seconds you don't need to know any of these really because we're doing something much simpler we're gonna make a red slime so we can close uh, all of these we're gonna come back to it later as mentioned we're gonna modify the existing pet so I'm gonna duplicate the folder I'm gonna rename it to slime red. These files here also need to be renamed. So I'm gonna rename sneak bit slime to sneak bit slime red. The name of the file also needs to be in the JSON file, so we're gonna fire it back up and we can change the ID to slime red. Again, this will tell the app what name of the images to look for. For example, when walking, slime, sneak beat slime red underscore walk dash the number of frame. And we can see there is a match here. Next up, we're gonna need to change the color of each image. It's gonna be a quite tedious work. You can do it, for example, with GIMP. It's gonna be very simple. The problem is you're gonna need to repeat this process for each individual frame, which is not uh, super convenient. 
So you're gonna need to select this color, find a replacement, for example, a dark red. As you can see, it's going to take ages, also because you will need to do this for all frames of the image. Let's just do one frame and see what happens when we fire the when we add it to the app. <coughs> so now that we have it saved, we can see that during the front animation. This line becomes red for a moment. We don't really do need, we don't really need to do anything else. We can just compress and drag it in the app. That's it. We now add this sneak bit slime red and here you can see that it becomes red for a moment. Now, this was simple because we only have edited an existing pet. You can obviously create a completely custom one and add uh, any sort of animation and capabilities to it. And uh, I'm happy to work with you if you want the pet to do anything particularly custom. Just reach out, reach out on Discord and we can figure it out. The issue is, obviously, you will need to do some design work for this. Uh, it's not something that comes off easy. Pixel art can be very, very simple to learn, but very, very hard to master. The tool I use is called Sprite. It's open source. It's uh, 20 something dollar on Steam if you want to download it from there. I use maybe 10% of the features but uh, it's gonna make your life uh, very very simple so for example a, a palette swap uh, is, is going to be very easy we can just uh, recreate the palette from the from the sprite uh, set the image to indexed and just uh, swap the colors like this it's not exactly the red i expected but uh, you you get the point what I do whenever I push an update is uh, I have a bunch of these files uh, right here uh, inside the source code of the app and whenever I build it for uh, releasing an update I will convert them to images just like the ones you saw uh, used uh, in, in the exporter. From here you can export in various ways. What I do is export as PNG and add a dash here. Then I'm uh, gonna select the folder, for example, the desktop, and this is gonna export the images in the exact format that the app needs. Now let's go and create a completely custom pet. So I'm gonna recolor also the images for the other animation, which is the front animation. And here we go. Now we have the four images. And here we go. Now we have, we have the images for all the animations. So let's create a new folder. 
let's call it sneak bit slime red it is very important that you have consistent names and names that are not already in the app the slime was called sneak bit slime this is gonna be needed to name something different the names of each individual image also need to be the same ones so for example here I exported them with some named sneak bit slime red and some named sneak bit slime we're gonna need to fix that and have the same identifier everywhere now next up we want to create a JSON file The JSON file needs to be named the name of the pet.json. So again, sneak bit slime red, the same as the folder and the same as the images. I keep repeating this because it's uh, the main source of issues. Now, this is an exact copy of the slime, and we only want to add the correct name also here. Now, let's see if everything worked. Let's change some parameters so that we can see the difference between the red and the green slime. So as we mentioned, there is this scale parameter, which is something useful depending on how you want your pixel art to render. Let's go ahead and set it to 1.0. We can now expect that the red slime will be approximately double the size than the regular one. Then, we also have an animation called front, but you don't really see the slime stopping. That's because we don't have any animation set. So we can go back to the cat. That's not a problem. We can go back to how the cat is defined, or better yet, open up the documentation here. And we can see that animation are defined like this. There needs to be an ID which needs to be part of the name of the image. This is the ID of the species and this is the ID of the animation. So here front is perfect. The position is just something because sometimes animations are larger. Please ignore it. And required loops is the number of times the animation will be reproduced before, uh, before changing. Now everything is okay, we can just save it. Just to see if the tags work, we can also add a custom tag. Now we have our folder with the JSON file and images. We can go ahead and compress it and drag it into the designated area of the app. Pet has Castle Info imported. And here we can see it. It's definitely red. Because it's a custom pet, we now have the delete button and we can add it to the screen. It is definitely double the size of the, of the regular one and uh, it will just uh, go and do the same cycle as you can see it did just now stop for a moment just because we added the animation and that's it this video is going to be linked in our discord it's going to be linked on uh, this uh, little page here and uh, hopefully um, it's uh, explained well enough so if you want to support the app, there's gonna be this uh, new red button here. Uh, it helps a lot, really. And if you want to become a super supporter, please check out my game. Again, it's free on mobile. The controls are a bit clunky. I need feedback about it. Please reach out on Discord. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.